This week in game. In today's show, we'll take a look at Devil May Cry arriving early to PC, Hitman HD trilogy on its way, new free to play FPS from Splash Damage, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance box art and a demo announced, Windows 8 changing its guidelines in regard to rating. If you have been waiting long for some demon hunting, your wait is soon to be done. Devil May Cry is set to release in January 2013, and this week, Capcom announced that the PC port for the game will be arriving a week later on January 25th. Capcom is known for giving out good PC ports, and this one seems to be no exception, as the press release states support for AMD and its iInfinity multi-display and crossfire. The game is compatible with the keyboard and mouse, Xbox 360 controller and all other third-party devices. PC owners will also be able to enjoy the game at 60fps or even higher, creating a unique and spectacular visual experience. Splash Damage, the creator of enemy territory Quake Wars and the horrendous fail that Brink was, released a teaser trailer for the new upcoming free-to-play first-person shooter Dirty Bomb not so long ago, and this week, gameplay footage got released, showcasing bomb-based objective play and a variety of classes in action, with loads of explosion and firearm action. From the gameplay video, the game looks very polished, even though it's still in the alpha stage, but can we really trust Splash Damage once again after their massive fail of Brink, which was filled with bugs and rushed development? which resulted in a product that was worthless and delivered nothing that was promised. Let's hope that Splash Damage can somehow redeem themselves from their past mistakes with this game, even though the road ahead of them to win over their customers seems very rocky at the moment. Back in October, Microsoft took some flack when they announced that Windows 8 Marketplace would not have available games that were above Peggy 16 in Europe or Mature in the US. It seemed that Microsoft regret this decision. It said this week that they have corrected that oversight with new guidelines that will allow Mature games onto the Windows Store, provided they have a Peggy rating. The new requirement states, Apps with a rating over Peggy 16, ESRB, Mature, or to contain content that would warrant such a rating, are not allowed unless the app is a game, is rated by the third party ratings board and otherwise complies with these certification requirements. In regards to the new announcement of the new guidelines, Microsoft also revealed that they have partnered with game publishers which will bring games such as The Witcher and Grand Theft Auto with more games coming soon to the store. There is no denying that the step they made in October was a really dumb decision and would get changed in a matter of time. And while this change isn't game changing for the operating system, it is at least a step in the right direction. The name Agent 47 is just a whisper on the lips of the dead. Because if he comes calling for you, you'll never even know. Your cold and emotional assassin, Agent 47, seems to be coming back in HD. With the success of Hitman Absolution, Square Enix announced the Hitman HD trilogy is confirmed, which will feature Hitman 2 Silent Assassin, Hitman Contracts, and Hitman Blood Money. The bundle is listed at $40 and is set to arrive January 29th in North America, Europe and PAL regions February 1st for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. A phantom. A legend. But what would happen if the legend has finally exposed as fact, and the cold sights of death are finally aimed on him. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is given much attention lately with newly released gameplay footage showcasing Ryland's sword skills as he fights his way through swarm of enemies. And with this, 
Konami announced that the demo is set to be released in January next year. And another announcement was made regarding the official box art for the game, as it was unveiled, showcasing Raiden as he slashes a robot in Hulk. It is interesting to see Konami take in this direction. When it comes to box art, they usually have a completely other style comparing this one to its old counterparts, but nonetheless, the cover looks really nice. That's it for this week in gaming. For more video gaming related content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Yes! Yes! Waving the wide open!